Your constant self-improvement journey is the journey to meeting your higher self. I believe that we are all like unpolished diamonds. True beauty, power, confidence lies in each and every one of us. Just like Marilyn Monroe who has made herself a piece of art and the most iconic and powerful woman we know of, Norma Jean has perfected the Marilyn Monroe art to perfection. I share the Marilyn Monroe's philosophy and I want to cultivate it always so that I can keep getting better and unlocking the next levels in my life. And in today's video, I wanted to inspire you to do the same. So let me share with you my philosophy that relates to beauty, health, life and anything that constitutes your life. So point number one is that you must believe that you also have the potential because everyone has it. And if you do not believe that, you need to do some inner work around that. Look deep within and ask yourself, why don't you believe you have it in you? The truth is that you have an intrinsic worth and value and you need to look at yourself in that way. You need to know that what is possible for other people, it is also possible for you. If that girl you see has the seemingly impeccable self-confidence, it is sure you are also capable of developing it too. You need to know that whatever you are able to observe in others, it is also possible for you. And I can only say that from my own experience. If you keep working on yourself, you will keep getting better and better. I am now on the same level of the people I took inspiration from years ago and now I am able to be the inspiration for others. Point number two is to see yourself as a blank canvas. If you look in the mirror and you do not like what you see, this is the best moment to see yourself as a blank canvas and realize the potential in you. Look at your hair and see how could you improve it. What would be the hair that you would like? For me, it has always been dark, long and silky straight hair. I saw a picture of a woman with that hair and I knew I needed to have it. It worked amazing with my face shape and even if it didn't, doesn't matter. I wanted to have a hairstyle like that. And now no one could ever tell me I should have a different hair color because the hair I have is the one I like. It is my personal 10 out of 10. And then look at your skin and think how could you improve it. Remember that beauty means health and there are so many ways to improve the look of your skin. And I have already made a separate video about it. I have started my own level up journey with the sole belief that I can improve my terribly oily and acne prone skin. And now I am proud of my skin and I love it. And then pay attention to the details. Look at your brows, your lashes. Try to emphasize the best in your appearance. If you like your thick brows and they work for you, you can make them your own personal beauty mark. Play with your makeup and choose the makeup that fits the features you have. Point number three is to notice what inspires you. And so I started paying attention to the characters that spoke to me in a way. And whether it was the self-confidence of Angelina Jolie in the movie Mr. and Mrs. Smith or the impeccable style of Blair Waldorf, I paid a lot of attention to the things that inspired me. I printed out those pictures, I took notes on the things I liked about those characters and I started working on it in me. The embodiment takes time, therefore I would have those characters as an inspiration for years. And I was slowly getting closer to them with time. I had few key pictures stick in my journal and I would journal about this person and treating her as my coach. What would she do in this situation? How would she behave? How would she act? This way I was able to put light on the parts of me that I thought needed improvement and once a certain quality or way of being was fully embodied and developed, I would no longer feel the need or use of that particular inspiration. I have embodied it and it became a part of me. And so therefore please pay attention to the inspiration that you feel. 
or even jealousy. What is this person trying to teach you? For example, recently I met a girl in my personal life who is very reserved and has a very strong, quiet presence. The oversharing and overdoing me notice slight jealousy slash inspiration from this girl. I now draw inspiration from her and I see how can I improve this part of me. Changing a tiny little bit of your behavior and personality will not even do much difference in the short term. But in the long run, you will see the big difference. You will see the growth you made. Point number four is to get rid of jealousy. Your painting is just as beautiful and there is no need to go around and compare yourself and your painting to others. Take inspiration from people but never allow resentment or hatred towards them. We are all on a different journey and different life path. Focus on your own creation, paint yourself to your preference. Don't ask people for validation. You are your own piece of art and make sure that you like you. The idea of a painting consists of those two important points. The belief that you can improve. A growth mindset. Knowing that you can indeed change and get better, that the jealousy you feel is screaming that you too can have this and be that. And the second, it is being in love with the process of self-improvement. It is loving yourself enough to know you are worthy of this much work. It is knowing that all areas of your life will improve when you do. And at the end, it is about carrying yourself with pride for life. Because you are a beautiful painting that you keep improving and perfecting just like Monet did or Michelangelo when painting the Sistine Chapelle. You can already be proud of this mindset of the brave belief that you too can do that. You can also carry yourself with pride at any given moment and as any artist. Have the pride for reaching this particular point with your art. The journey to create your art until now and also the ideas and ambitions that you do have for the future and for your art. The Mona Lisa was an obsession of Leonardo da Vinci and it took him 16 years to paint this masterpiece. Make sure to get obsessed with yourself today and start painting your painting with such pride and patience. Believe in yourself and your ability to create art and be the art. You are both the artist and the art.